guys to this Virgin Piper. This is Wilson with you. So this video is on five gifts for the pipe smoker. And it's hard covering this because who are we talking about? Someone who's not even into pipe smoking yet, yet they're interested. Um, or all the way on the other extreme, are we talking about a veteran? And what is our price guideline? Are we really on a very tight budget or are you splurging this year? So to cover uh, th this spectrum, and especially for the Christmas season in mind, uh, I'm going to give you a bit of options. Um, but they're going to come down in five categories, and so we'll cover them one by one from, I guess, most important to the least important. And maybe this will help you. Or, Pipe Smoker, if you want to maybe send this to your loved one, a wife, a spouse, a girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, dad, whatever it may be, uh, maybe this can be a good guide for them as well. So, we, we need to start with a pipe because we're talking about pipe smoking. So, what would be a good gift for a pipe smoker? Well, if they're on the new side, whether they just begun or they're wanting to get into it, I, I want to keep in mind their image of pipe smoking. So, if we're really on a tight budget, of course, we can go with something like a corn cob pipe, which are trustworthy, which um, are very inexpensive, and they are, well, they have they have a good reputation because they work. But you can get them for five, ten dollars, up to maybe like forty dollars or so on the very nicer ones, and that's a great entry level pipe. And I've recommended them before. However, a, a lot of folks who want to get into pipe smoking, they they have an image in mind, and that's what they want. Um, and they have the more wooden, the briar pipe in mind, something like, well, this, uh, which is a briar wood. If you're not familiar with pipes, most of them, there's other options, but most of them are briar wood because it's, it's, it stands up well to the constant smoking. So we want to be very mindful of price, of course, right? Um, so what are some options? Well, one that I would recommend that I would pick up for a new pipe smoker would maybe be like a a ROP brand uh, put out by the ROP company and they have one called an et etudient uh, that can run around $48 if you go to like smokingpipes.com so very inexpensive it's a fresh pipe it looks nice it has that bri briar wooden look that most have in mind and you're not totally out of pocket um, another option that might be around the same price if not less is like the Morgan pipes or the Morgan Bones pipes, which are bare bone. They're, they don't have any type of sealant or staining, I should say. Uh, and uh, they, they come as it is. And so you can get those for around the same price, maybe less. But let's say you want to splurge a, a little bit and you have the ability to do so. Well, you can go up to, say, uh, an entry level Peterson pipe, which are made out of Ireland, and say like this Irish harp, which is one of my favorites still. Uh, and this will run you anywhere between, let's say, $90 to $110, just depending on where you get it. Uh, and it has a wonderful look to it. It's incredibly appealing, but it's a great dependable smoker as well. So options are, of course, very uh, expansive. You can go from 5 to $10 with a corn cob or up to, well, you can go hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but 70 to 90 80 90 dollars for an entry level like a Savinelli Peterson pipe like so. Uh, but if it's for an entry-level person, uh, someone who's just beginning, I would look at something like a like a ROP uh, or a, a Morgan Bones pipe um, as something that would be a good middle road for them. But then we move on to tobacco, which we need tobacco to smoke in our pipes. And uh, if you're confused with all the options that there are with pipes, it's, it's even more confusing with tobacco because there's hundreds and hundreds of options so let me just give you three that I think were, are great options for the beginner and even some more for the intermediate uh, experienced pipe smoker so the first one I want to go with is Shepherd's Pie by the Country Squire now the, the Country Squire is a company out in Mississippi um, it's a small business and they have wonderful customer service uh, they have knowledgeable customer service, especially under John David Cole, the, the owner of the business, and their blends are consistently fantastic. Uh, they, they do a wonderful job. And, and so they're easily, easy to get your hands on, and Shepherd's Pie specifically is a blend that's easy to smoke, it's flavorful, and the price is very affordable. And you can get it in one ounce bags or two ounce, this is, this is two ounces, and um, that's that's a, a really good amount to go with for someone new to pipe smoking. Uh, and 
and it's it's something that's going to offer some flavor some sweetness but it's easy to smoke as well because of the makeup of the blend and so this would be one i would encourage you to pick up for maybe the person who's kind of interested in pipe smoking or has already started but frankly this is good for anyone of any experience level because i i greatly enjoy it myself um, that's why i have it out here i i do smoke it and uh, so it, it will be a, a good option for the the person no matter what uh, experience level they are at uh, but there's are a couple of other options if you want to go with something that's not in a bag maybe you want to go with a tin because people love the tins of tobacco right uh, well one you can easily go with that's uh, fairly easy to smoke um, and it would be even better for maybe the more experienced smoker the intermediate they've already tried the pipe uh, that would be Presbyterian Reformation uh, this is an aromatic blend uh, that so aromatic meaning it has it has some extra flavoring that comes out through the smoke both in uh, the aroma in the air and in the taste and but it also has some great uh, natural flavors as well um, I, I have reviewed this on this channel and it's it's an excellent option um, that I think one would enjoy um, or another one in a similar fashion is Peterson University flake uh, and like this other one it it has some natural great flavors, but also has some topping on it, uh, it, making it an aromatic as well. And so it offers some flavors, fairly easy to smoke, I would say. Um, and you get the tin art if someone is chasing that. So those are just simply three options. There's loads out there, but we don't want to make things too complicated um, for our gift buying. So we can stick with those three. But then we have to light our tobacco in our pipes. And so we do need a lighter. Now, of course, this is another place where there is a wide range of options, for, uh, including pricing. So I currently use uh, a Peterson Old Boy style pipe lighter like this for quite some time. But this is getting up to the $80 range. And I don't recommend this as a gift for most pipe smokers unless they're more experienced because it's, it's pricey. You want to make sure they're going to be in the hobby, uh, enjoy it for quite some time to make that investment. Uh, but... We can go on the other side and we can get like big lighters you can find in your convenience store and uh, they work. A lot of people use them. Um, however, they can kind of burn your thumb if you're, depending on how you hold it. Uh, and they're not the most elegant thing. And maybe someone's wanting something that looks a little bit more appealing, fancy, whatever you want to say. And my recommendation would be going with a Zippo lighter that has a pipe insert as such. So you're probably familiar with Zippo lighters. Uh, who isn't? But there are, are some that come with a pipe insert as such. It has this certain chimney. And so with the circle, you can light it and hold it sideways right above your pipe. And it won't burn the sides or your hands. These range from $12, $15 up to like maybe $20. Uh, and one of the great things about these lighters is that they are fairly windproof. And so they can be smoked outside. They're not going to be blown out. And uh, these are probably still my favorite lighters, though I use this other one. So I'm going to recommend you go with something like this. If you're really on a tight budget, then yeah, shoot down for a big lighter. There's some that have a, a, a chimney stack um, that can be very usable and you know, can kind of get the, the best of both worlds um, in that regard. So you want a lighter. Those are some excellent options for it. But then you have to tamp your ash. You, as you light, you have to tamp your tobacco and make sure it's evenly being smoked and you, you keep the ember rolling, all that stuff. So you need a check tool or you need a tamper. Uh, my tamper suggestion is a very inexpensive one yet a very valuable one and that is called a check tool um, as you can see it comes with these three tools on it uh, more of a pick um, it comes with a tamper and then it comes with like a if you want to call this a scraper or a shovel to to get a, any remaining dottle that stays in the bottom of the bowl these run like two dollars maybe three dollars just depending on where you get them and you can get them at a local tobacconist usually you can get them online uh, I, I, I'm not even going to give you many options here. Uh, you can use a nail, you know, like a hammer nail uh, as a tamper. But for $2, I would add this to your gift. And it's very, very valuable. Uh, one of the best things you can get when it comes to a tamper um, and a tool for your pipe. But then finally, one thing we may not think of 
it's but it's very inexpensive and something you should add to your gift as well and that is pipe cleaners now if you're very new to pipe cleaning you may think of pipe cleaners as something you make art out of or your kids do but in fact they were made for guess what they were made for cleaning pipes pipe tobacco and so there are many options out there you're going to see several brands and maybe get confused there uh, i will just tell you i two that i usually use is either brigham as here or bj long uh, and you won't go wrong really the, either one they're inexpensive uh, you can get packs of 75 or 100 for uh, $1.50 to $3, just depending on where you buy them from. That's typically the price range. I really recommend you pick one up for the gift. Be part of it uh, because you need to clean your pipe to make sure you have a good experience, especially afterwards, and you simply run it through the end of the pipe as such and clean out any dottle, moisture, everything like that to make sure you have a great uh, smoking experience during and after your smoke. So that is an easy addition to your gift buying for your pipe smoking loved one. So there you have it. I, I hope that's helpful. It's a pretty broad guideline. There are loads of options in every category I mentioned, especially pipes and tobacco, but this is something that will help you get started uh, and make sure you're an experienced buyer for the pipe smoker in your life in case you don't know nothing about it. So if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below and I'm happy to answer them or for you pipe smokers, give your thoughts below. Uh, maybe there are some who are given this video and they need more uh, guidelines. Hey, this is a great option for you to leave them in the comments. Well, guys, that's all I have this week. I hope you are blessed. I hope you're having a great week and we will talk to you very soon.